Hey, what's up? Pizza Loving Nerd here. Today I'm going to be talking about Navidrome, which is basically a open source application that lets you create your own streaming service. That's right. Screw you, Spotify. <laughs> Some of the benefits of this is that you actually own your music because the music you'll be getting will be from, you know, CDs or just your own MP3s in general. So you actually have control of your library. You don't have to worry about Spotify yanking your favorite artist off of the platform. And it can be really cheap if you have the right tools available already. And it's just fun to brag about. You could be, you could roll up to school or wherever you work and be like, hey, I made my own streaming service. Of course, then you won't have any friends. The point is, Navid Realm lets you create your own streaming service, and I'm gonna be demonstrating how to do that in this YouTube video. So let's get to it. So if we go to their website here, let's go through their demo just to show you what we're going to be creating, sort of. And uh, one thing I'd like to point out, head over to our demo site and enjoy some free music. Contrary to the fine folks from Jimando Music, Chill Hop, Nine Inch Nails. Let's go. Yeah, Nine Inch Nails, the best band ever. I listen to them way too often. I just wanted to fanboy over Nine Inch Nails for a second. Let's actually go to their demo site now. As you can see here, if you log in through the demo account, you get a Spotify-like GUI right here. And you can head over to Artists. Here we go. And we can play some songs. So, let's learn how to do it yourself. I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi Zero because you can get these things very, very cheap and they're low powered. So you can kind of keep this running without needing to worry about any major electricity bills or anything. But you can also use a regular Raspberry Pi, basically any single board computer that can run Debian. You can even host this on an actual old computer you have if you have a spare computer laying around. Or you can use some service like Linode, which please sponsor me Linode. Or DigitalOcean, something like that that gives you a VPS where you can pay like $5 a month for a virtual server that you can run this on. For the sake of this video though, I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi Zero just because these are very accessible. I think before the chip shortage, you could get one of these for like 5 or $10. So they were really cheap for a while. And then also if you need music to use for this video, I recommend either getting some CDs because they're just the experience of owning CDs is awesome. Like you can open them, you can go through all of the manuals, not manuals, but like all the artwork and lyrics. It's just kind of an experience to have CDs. But if you also don't want to go to a CD store or wait for a CD to arrive after two or three days, or you just don't have a CD burner, you can also buy straight up MP3s off of Amazon and Bandcamp, which helps support artists a little bit more because if you're buying used CDs like I am, it's not going to be supporting artists since they're used. They're already aftermarket. And let's just get to the demonstration now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using Raspberry Pi Imager in order to burn Raspberry Pi OS to a micro SD card. I'm going to be using Raspberry Pi OS Lite just because I don't really need a full desktop going on here and it's a smaller download and there's more room for music because it's only 500 megabytes. And let's write that. Once that SD card image is burned, I'm going to use a partitioning tool, which I'm going to use Gparted, but it might look a little bit different if you're on a Windows machine or a Mac. And I'm going to right click and expand the partition we just made to use the entire SD card and not just like two gigabytes of it. Give that a second. And then finally, I'm going to go to the root FS of the SD card, which sorry if you're on Windows, by the way, because if you're on Windows, getting your music on the Raspberry Pi is going to be quite a bit harder since it cannot read ext4. But if you're on Linux, mount the new root FS partition. We're going to go to home Pi. I'm going to make a new folder called music. That is not how you spell music. Go in there and then I'm going to paste in the music that I want to put on my streaming service. So I'm just going to use five albums. I'm not going to transfer my entire collection because my entire collection is huge. So I just got five albums here. And now we're going to boot on the Pi. So once you get your Raspberry Pi ready, connect it to a monitor. I'm connecting it to a capture card right here for this video. And then I also recommend connecting a keyboard so you don't have to set up SSH and all that. And now I'm going to log in. The default username is Pi and the default password is Raspberry. However, once logged in, I recommend running passwd in order to change the password to something a bit more secure. I'm going to run sudo raspy config in order to connect to Wi-Fi right here. And then finish. Now, just to make sure that the Wi-Fi was successful, I'm going to ping google.com. Just to be sure, it looks like they received my packet, so 
that means I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Next, we're going to update the apt metadata using sudo apt update. Then make sure your operating system is up to date by running sudo apt upgrade. And this will update your operating system to have all the packages at the latest version. Next, you're going to want to install a text editor of your choice. I'm going to be using nano plus ffmpeg, which you can do by running sudo apt install nano and ffmpeg and let that install. Once ffmpeg is done installing, it may take a while. Uh, we are going to run sudo install dash d dash o and then pi for the user dash g and then users for the group just so we don't have to complicate the tutorial by making a new user group and things and then slash op slash navadrome and we're going to run that and then we're going to do the same command except for the last part we're going to do slash var slash lib slash navadrome now we're going to download the tarball with navadrome so we're going to do we get github.com slash navadrome slash navadrome slash releases slash download and then slash whatever the version is at the time of making this video the latest version is v 0.47.5 and if you are watching this in the future you probably want to input a newer version depending on what the newest version is and then novadrome underscore 0.47.5 underscore linux and then underscore whatever architecture we're on since i'm on a raspberry pi zero it's arm v6 once you got that downloaded we're going to extract it into the op directory we made earlier so to do that we're going to do sudo tar dot xvzf the tarball we just downloaded and then dash c slash op slash navi drone now we're going to do sudo chown dash r pi users and then that directory again finally we're going to create a basic config file in order to set our music library and to do that just nano slash var slash lib slash navi drum slash navi drum dot tmol and then we're going to put the following text in this in order to set our music library next up we're going to create a system d service so that navi drum runs whenever you boot up your raspberry pi and to do this we're going to want to copy and paste this code into a systemd service file I did this by creating a paste bin and then downloading the paste bin onto my Raspberry Pi. And as you can see here, that's my paste bin. And now we're going to want to edit it. I'm using nano and change the user and group. So we'll set the user to pi and the group over to users. And then we're going to move this file to slash etc slash systemd slash system slash navidrome.service. And now we are going to reload the systemd daemon by using sudo systemctl daemon dash reload. And this will make it able to detect the new service we just put in. Then we're going to start the service just to make sure it works properly. And then just to make sure that there aren't any errors like I made on my first attempt doing this. As you can see, it's running. So now we're just going to sudo systemctl enable navidrome.service. And that will make Navidrome come up during the startup process now. So every time you reboot your Raspberry Pi, you don't have to run systemctl start Navidrome. Now I'm going to run ifconfig to get my Raspberry Pi's private IP address, which on this Raspberry Pi is 192.168.0.150. And now if I head over to my PC over here and go to this domain, our Raspberry Pi's private IP address plus call in 45333, we get Navidrome, it's web UI. Now you can port forward this to make it available on your private IP address and then you can access this from outside your network. I'm not going to do that in this video because that's kind of complicated and it's kind of risky too because if you give too many people your IP address and logins to Navindrome then everyone's going to be streaming music off of your bandwidth and eventually you'll run out of network bandwidth unless you have unlimited bandwidth, but my plan personally only has one terabyte. But anyways, once you get to Navidrone, you're gonna wanna put in a username. I'm just gonna do pizza, and then you're gonna wanna put a password. I'm just gonna do password and create admin. And as you can see here, if we go to our albums, it is currently downloading some artwork, which may take a second. As you can see, I have my music on here. I can play it if I want to. And then also, if you want to use a subsonic compatible music player, this should work too. So if you don't want to be forced to use just a web app, you can use another music player with this server, which is kind of epic. So that's how you create your own streaming service. I do not condone piracy, so 
please, if you're gonna do this, use legally downloaded or ripped music that you ripped yourself. Again, CDs are a great way to get music because you can buy used CDs pretty cheap. You can also buy MP3 files on Bandcamp and Amazon. And you could even go to the local library and rip CDs yourself and then return them. Plenty of ways to get music legally to do this. Anyways, I hope this video either helped you out or entertained you, and thanks to my Patreon supporters, Tech Hut, Jim Peter, Sam Covet, Mitchell Vantino, and John Sass, and I will see you in the next video.